Ever wonder what's really in that prepackaged meal or soda can you're consuming? The answers may surprise you. Today, we're diving into the world of processed foods, where convenience often overshadows health, as we peel back the layers on some of your favorite snacks and meals. We'll reveal their impact on your well-being and why it's crucial to understand their nutritional content. Join us as we uncover the truth behind some of the most common processed foods. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, but what's really in your cereal bowl? Ever poured out your favorite box of cereal, only to be met with a sugar rush that leaves you crashing before lunchtime? You're not alone. Many breakfast cereals, even those marketed as healthy or whole grain, are actually laden with high levels of added sugars. For instance, some popular brands might as well be dessert, with sugar content equivalent to three chocolate chip cookies. This sugar overload not only gives you a quick energy high followed by a debilitating crash, but can also contribute to long-term health issues. Regular consumption of high sugar cereals can lead to weight gain and increased risk of type 2 diabetes. Not to mention, these cereals often lack essential nutrients, leaving you unsatiated and reaching for unhealthy snacks. So next time you're in the cereal aisle, take a moment to check the labels. Opt for low sugar, high fiber options that provide sustained energy. Remember, not all cereals are created equal. Quenching your thirst with a soda? You might want to think twice. Sodas and sweetened beverages are often loaded with excessive amounts of added sugars. Imagine this. A single can of your favorite soda could contain up to 9 teaspoons of sugar. That's nearly double the recommended daily intake for an adult. Let's take a look at some popular examples. Ever enjoyed a refreshing glass of iced tea on a hot summer day? Well, some bottled versions contain over 5 teaspoons of sugar per serving. And those energy drinks that keep you going through the day? They can pack a whopping 7 teaspoons of sugar. This high sugar content isn't just about expanding waistlines. Regular consumption of these sugary drinks can lead to a host of health issues. Obesity, type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and dental problems are just a few examples. It's a bitter truth to swallow, but that sweet drink might be doing more harm than good. Next time, consider reaching for a glass of water instead. It's hydrating, refreshing, and most importantly, sugar-free. Fast food is convenient, but at what cost to your health? Picture this. A juicy burger, a side of crispy fries, all of it tempting your taste buds. It's hard to resist, right? But let's take a closer look at what's really on that tray. Fast food items like those irresistible burgers and fries are notorious for their high levels of unhealthy fats. Not the good kind, mind you, but saturated and trans fats, which are linked to heart disease. And let's not forget about sodium. A single fast food meal can easily exceed your daily recommended intake, leading to high blood pressure and other health concerns. Calories, you ask? Well, a typical fast food meal can pack in half, if not more, of your daily calorie needs. That's a lot considering the lack of essential nutrients these meals offer. Let's take the big burger from fast food chain A, or the supersized fries from fast food chain B. These signature items might satisfy your cravings, but they also serve up a hefty dose of those unhealthy fats, sodium, and calories we just talked about. Frequent consumption of such meals doesn't paint a pretty picture for your health. It sets the stage for obesity, heart disease, and even type 2 diabetes. Fast food should be a treat, not a daily meal. So next time you're tempted, remember what's actually lurking beneath that tasty exterior. It might just make you think twice. What's really in that hot dog or deli sandwich? This question may be a bit unsettling, but it's important to know what we're eating, especially when it comes to processed meats. Let's start with sodium. Processed meats like hot dogs, sausages, and deli meats are often loaded with sodium. High sodium intake can lead to increased blood pressure and other health issues. Then there are preservatives, specifically nitrates and nitrites. They are added to keep the meat's color and to prevent bacterial growth. But here's the catch. During cooking or in our stomach, these compounds can form nitrosamines, which are associated with an increased risk of certain types of cancer. And let's not forget about the high fat content, especially saturated fats, which can contribute to heart disease. A typical hot dog, for example, contains about half of your daily recommended intake of saturated fat. So the next time you're eyeing that hot dog stand or reaching for a pack of deli slices, remember, choose fresh lean meats whenever possible. This simple switch can make a big difference in your health. Snack time can be a nutritional minefield if you're not careful. As we navigate the aisles of our grocery stores, we are often lured by the bright packaging and convenience of pre-packaged snack foods. 
But what exactly are we putting into our bodies when we reach for that bag of chips or a box of crackers? Often we're consuming high levels of unhealthy trans fats, sodium, and a host of artificial additives that our bodies just don't need. Take a typical bag of chips for instance. While they may satisfy our craving for something salty and crunchy, they often contain more sodium than our bodies should have in a whole day. And those cheese puffs? They might be light and airy, but they're also full of artificial colors and preservatives. And let's not forget about the nutritional value, or lack thereof. These snacks may fill us up temporarily, but they don't provide the essential nutrients our bodies need to function at their best. So next time you're reaching for a quick snack, remember, opt for whole foods for your snack break. Frozen meals are a quick dinner fix, but are they really good for you? Let's delve into the cold facts. These handy meals are often loaded with sodium. High sodium intake can lead to hypertension and heart disease over time. Preservatives? They're in there too, extending shelf life, but potentially impacting your lifespan. Take a typical frozen lasagna for instance. It might seem like a hearty meal, but when you peek at the nutritional label, the sodium levels could make your heart skip a beat. And don't forget about those frozen pizzas, which often skimp on veggies and lean protein, but not on sodium and saturated fats. Nutritional content? Unfortunately, it tends to get frozen out. Many frozen meals fall short in providing adequate fiber and essential vitamins. Sure they're convenient, but the nutritional trade-offs are significant. And those healthy or light options? Sometimes they're not as wholesome as they appear. Lower in calories perhaps but often still high in sodium and lacking in nutrients. Remember, fresh is always best. Choosing whole foods and cooking from scratch will always trump the convenience of these frosty boxed meals. Instant noodles may be a college staple but they're not doing your health any favors. These quick fix meals are notorious for their high sodium content, often exceeding half of your recommended daily intake in just one serving. Moreover, they offer little in the way of nutritional value. Popular brands like Maruchan and Nissin are easy on the wallet but tough on the body. So next time, consider healthier alternatives for your late night cravings. Those bakery treats may be tempting but what's really in them? That's a question worth asking as we bite into our favorite pastries, cakes and cookies. Commercial baked goods, while delicious, often contain high levels of sugars, unhealthy fats and artificial additives. Take for instance the classic glazed donut. It's a sweet delight but it's also packed with sugars and trans fats. Or consider the seemingly innocent blueberry muffin, often laden with added sugars and fats and far from the wholesome breakfast option it may appear to be. Even the humble cookie, depending on its recipe, can contain a surprising amount of refined sugars and artificial ingredients. It's not about banning these treats from our lives but rather understanding what we're consuming and making informed choices. And remember, it's not just about what's in these foods, but also about portion sizes. Moderation is key when it comes to these sweet treats. We've covered a lot today, from breakfast cereals to instant noodles. Remember, mindful choices and reading labels make a difference. Thank you for joining us today. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below.